that will be four dollars and ninety-five cents. Do do you have a change for a fifty? There were many things that Squidward Tentacles didn't like about his job. He didn't like customers who tried to pay using large bills. He didn't like the way the drawer should violently out of the cash register, forcing him to leap backwards every time. He didn't like counting change. But most of all, he didn't like... Order up, Squidward! He cringed, the voice reverberating in his eardrums, like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, that voice. Even the customer seemed alarmed as Squidward handed him his crusty combo. Sorry about that, he drawled. Despite his aversion to public interaction, Squidward frequently felt the need to make his apology. The voice spared no one. They were all victims of its piercing nasality. Hey, grating Bob Shirrelpants! Squidward leaned angrily through the serving hedge. Temper wearing him, he toppled backwards in surprise, clonking his head on the cash register as his co-worker popped into view. The usual overly toothy grin fixed in place. Yes? replied Spongebob in a falsetto sing-song voice, which only frustrated Squidward further. His patience snapped, and before he could stop himself, a series of words stumbled out of his mouth that would prove to cause nothing but trouble. Either you hit puberty, or I hit you. Puberty who? Squidward stopped rubbing his sore head and did a double take. He hadn't expected that answer. He had pulled the puberty card. As a cheap insult, a quick dick at SpongeBob's distinctive, emasculate tone. You're kidding. The sponge just smiled, wide-eyed and innocent as ever still leaning eagerly through the serving window, as though it were an ordinary everyday conversation about ketchup sachets or grill maintenance. Squidward wondered if he was deliberately playing dumb. How could he not know what puberty was? After all, he was... well... Squidward didn't know how old he was, but he was definitely an adult, mature. In the physical sense, wasn't he? No, he got up, briskly dusting himself down and turning back towards the register. I'm not having this conversation with you. For the first time in his career, Squidward wished there was a customer or an earthquake, anything to provide a distraction. Did she hurt you, Squidward? What? You know, I'm always on your side, buddy, but I'm really not comfortable with hitting anyone. Violence never solves anything. Maybe you should just talk to her? Whoa. Squidward had lost his train of thought. In fact, it had carried off the tracks and into a gaping ravine. He had no idea what SpongeBob was chattering on about. Puberty! Squidward clapped a tentacle over SpongeBob's mouth. Uncomfortably aware that every single patron in the restaurant had heard that last outburst and were now looking in his direction. Will you shut up? He hissed, heat rising in his face. Nobody wants to hear you screeching about... that... while they eat. About what? Pew. This time, he clapped the tentacle over his own mouth. You still haven't told me who she is. It's not a she, it's an it, and I already told you, I'm not having this conversation with you. Squidward was beyond uncomfortable. He rubbed his upper arms awkwardly, trying to focus on something other than the sexual maturity, or possible immaturity, of the Porifian behind him. It was difficult, with Spongebob breathing down his neck. All right, fine, as Squidward whispered in his ear. Spongebob's expression turned from excitement to disgust, and finally, skepticism. I don't think sponges have that, Squidward. Of course sponges have that, he sputtered, casting around for some evidence. I have seen you grow a beard. Remember the time we went clam fishing? Spongebob chuckled, 
Squidward. The growing of a beard is often used in an animation as a humorous visual representation of a passing of time. The scene faded to an old script shade of grey. The topic under discussion now irrelevant as the characters acknowledged their own non-existence. Way to break for a wall, Squarepants. <laughs>